NC State makes it a perfect four for four. They'll look to go five for five with Ed Scott, the two seed. And this might be the matchup of this entire semifinal round as Scott gets laced up to take on Bryce and Donian. The top seed is Sonny Santiago for North Carolina. Scott and Andonian, a lot of history with these two, and here we go. Bryce Andonian, the four-time NCAA qualifier. Two-time All-American taking on Ed Scott, who won an ACC championship two years ago. Lost to Andonian in the ACC finals last year, 15-9. Scott working that left side underhook right now, trying to jack it up into the leg. Nice job there, finding the angle. Hooking that bottom leg of Andonia, if he can pop his head out. He's in good position, he's gotta take his time. So he's stretching out that top leg by the ankle, his head's out, he's gotta keep turning those hips down, keep pressuring into Andonia, he's got the bottom leg stretched out still. Looks like he's trying to put Andonia in danger here. He's gotta keep moving through this position. Keeps the weight on the toes, keeps driving forward, and gets the three. Excellent job there by Scott. Just controlling those hips, working through the position. We know what Andonio can do. You see right there. Quick reversal. Looked like Scott relaxed just a little bit. He said, okay, I got my takedown. I can kind of get my bearings underneath me. But Andonia battled through. He said, no, we're not done yet. Let's keep going here. Way to respond. Giving up that early takedown by Andonia. Oh, isn't it great to have Bryce Andonia <laughs> back in the mix? Mr. Excitement, his... Last action was more than two months ago. He was injured January 7th in the match with Meyer Shapiro. Missed two months of the year with the lower leg injury. You see the big brace on his right leg. Always had that one goal of returning today and an opportunity, one last run. The always exciting Bryce Indonia. Four to two, Ed Scott with the lead. Cross over the halfway point, period one. Two straight All-American runs for Indonia. Scott off that front headlock. Look at the counter here by Indonia. Look at this scramble. Still nothing awarded yet. So you got him through the positions here. Way to get your hips underneath by Andonian. Trying to get that belly button down to the max. He's posturing, posting on those hips of Scott. A lot of action in that sequence. I mean, both wrestlers could have made a case. They're going to get three on that last exchange. Andonian two years ago placed third. That was down at 149. Last year, he placed seventh at 157. He went four and two. Fifteen seconds, short time. First period that has not disappointed between these two who know each other quite well. Let's go and pay a visit to each corner, Anthony. Let's start with Scott. After three minutes, his keys to a victory in this semifinal. Scott, he's got some good upper body ties. He's got a nice, got a nice little head pinch that he does, but he's got to work those ties a little bit more, be aggressive. We saw his offense that he can dial up, right? But we also know that Andonia can scramble pretty well, so he's just got to be careful. He's got to wrestle through the positions and be disciplined because a guy like Andonia, he'll make you pay. If you hesitate for a second, if you come out of position, he will capitalize on it. So if I'm Scott, get to my ties, get to my setups, but be disciplined with the finish. And then conversely for Andonian. Andonian, he's just got to keep doing what he does. I mean, he's dangerous in all positions. Doesn't matter what the position is, whether it's top, bottom, as we just saw. He can create re reversals. He can create situations, little skirmishes. So if I'm Andonian, just battle through the positions like I know how to do. Wrestle free, but we'll see how limited he is with, with that, that uh, injury. So, you know, yes, he's back, but is he 100%? How is he with his movement? How comfortable is he mentally with getting in those positions and letting himself go? 
And Donian beat Scott last year, but Bryce came up just short of winning an ACC championship. In fact, he's a four-time ACC runner-up. So this is a big moment for him. He has accomplished so much in his career. He would love to go out on top here in the ACC. So he lost to Austin O'Connor last year, 6-5. to five. In fact, lost to O'Connor three times in these ACC tournaments. And then lost to Tariq Wilson of NC State. Down a point. It's a different Wolfpack wrestler in his way today. And Ed Scott. Three points for North Carolina takedown from Sunny Santiago. In Donian right now. It looks like he's just holding position really well, right? He's keeping his head, hands, defense in play, working the ties, but not really initiating the angles and he set up for his shots. It, look like he's, it, it seems like he's looking more for a counter right now, waiting for Scott to initiate the attack and then he'll kind of steal away that position. So we'll see if that pays off for him or if he's going to kind of dial it up more with his pressure. get the feeling it's the calm before the storm here for the final two minutes. I'm afraid to blink. I don't want to miss it. Somewhat of a quiet second period, and now we get ready for period three. Meanwhile, Sonny Santiago, the top seed, a 4-2 lead on Jared Kessler at Pitt. Santiago, like his teammate, Lachlan McNeil, has had a busy month. He, too, tried to punch his ticket to the Olympic Games in Acapulco at the Pan Ants. Scott, no trouble getting out from underneath, and now we have a stoppage. And it looks like maybe a clock issue with Scott and Indoni. So there will be a delay there as they get it straightened out. Meanwhile, on the right, Santiago has really blossomed into one of the top wrestlers here at this weight, 157. Really thriving this year. Put it all together. He stayed healthy. Always been an exceptional freestyle wrestler, but has carried that success over to the college landscape this season. Looks so like it's an issue with riding time. That's what's causing the delay with Scott and Adoni. So really pressing forward right now, trying to work his underhooks, clearing the ties. Santiago's just holding great position, keeping his hips away, good head hands defense, circling back to the center. Scott in on a low shot, has that leg, but Indonian so dangerous in these positions. Getting a little bit high, and there's the three. Scott gets the takedown, and Donian tried to hit a roll immediately. Scott stuck with him. Excellent job. Stop keeping his balance, keeping his hips low. Squaring back up, not allowing Donian to suck him down that, those, that rabbit hole of the scramble situation. Way to be disciplined. That's exactly what I was talking about, right? You, you get your attack, but you got to focus on that finish. What's your positioning going to be like? And Donian was clearly waiting for that. He was trying to take the situation. But Scott seized the opportunity, and he finished strong. That was the key, finishing strong through the position. Sonny Santiago wins 4-2, so now he awaits the final 60 seconds to play out. right back into the offense and he gets three more and he starts to create a little separation and this large crowd from NC State suddenly being heard. Excellent match by Scott. He was aggressive early, wrestled smart through certain situations that, that would be really scary for a lot of wrestlers, scrambled through it, maintained his composure. Great strategy, way to execute out there. Again, keep in mind, when you look at 157, only two automatic qualifiers from the ACC. Ed Scott will be back into the finals after a hiatus a year ago. And NC State certainly flexing their muscles this afternoon. The champion from 2022 is back into the finals as he handles an old nemesis 
and Bryson Donian. And another bonus point as well along the way to the delight of the Red in attendance here today. 14-5, Ed Scott. We have hit the halfway point. The Wolfpack, the regular season champs, Jacob Camacho, one of their leaders, back in action. Cooper Flynn, Kai Arini, uh, the patented tongue from Arini. Sam Latona cut it out, a tiebreaker win. And Jackson Arrington, one of the talented sophomores in the lineup for NC State. And then Ed Scott, battle-tested. He's been through these wars before. The Wolfpack looking for their sixth consecutive.